Okay, I wanted to <coughs> do this quick video on how to replace the uh, front speakers in a uh, 2002 Chevy Suburban. Uh, there's a LT edition. I've already started. <coughs> what you want to do first is what I did was this triangle piece take it off and if you notice it has a barb on it two clips uh, <clears throat> the tool that I used let's see if I can find it is this trim tool uh, you can buy them at Harbor Freight or whatever uh, just put it underneath there and just pry the clips up here ones up here be sure to uh, we take it off Sorry, I'm trying to do this all one-handed. It goes like this on there. You take it off, take it off, and pull it up. Because if you don't, you'll break that piece off. Uh, then, all you want to do is what I did was uh, take off the lock selector. Uh, it comes off from here, and you just pull it out. Uh, then what I did was uh, take off your uh, for your heater. Uh, your seat heater um, I pried it out a little bit and then pushed it back in there and then I took uh, for your window for your window uh, if you notice it's got little notches that go up in there and what I did is got the same trim tool trim it pull it up like this and then take it out and then you got to take all the it's just got one connector and just push it and pull it out real easy uh you've probably seen videos of it then you got a uh i'll see it right here you got a bolt right here to take out and then you got one right here to take out and then one underneath uh one underneath here uh, they are different. Let me, let me get... This one is to the underneath. If you notice, there are different links. The the two for the upper ones are here. This is to the lower one. So just keep it separated. Uh, this is the old one. If you notice, it's completely gone. Uh, then basically all you do, just lift it up. Oh, two, I also forgot to tell y'all, I took the indicator out in there. You just pry it out. You get right here where the red is, and I just pried it out, pull it out like this, and pull it out, and you just unclip that makes it a lot easier and you lift with the wire as you can see and then you just unclip this and then the tweeter and then here's the for the heated seat you just push it back and just let it hang this wire here is for your little tweeter uh you have to unplug that and basically just lift it up and pull it out don't try to force it out because if you do, you know, it's all in the clips. And somebody took the other side off. I bought it used. And they took it out and they broke this piece off. Because they were trying to force it, I guess. So, that's all there is to it. And then, uh, like I said, there's videos out there. But I'll show you right quick. Push this tab down. And at the same time, pry out on it, and it'll just pull out, and you just lift up. And then what I did was I just cut the terminals and spliced it, you know, spliced it. And if you know about wiring, uh, here's the other piece, and I'm going to put it together with two butt connectors. And then uh, you could either try to use the O-ring which 
I've cleaned up and everything. I'm going to try to use the old ring and just pop it back in there. But I don't know if it's going to work. But you can just take it apart. Here's the one that came out just now. These are the speakers that I'm going to replace. Six by five, six and a half. Or Pi Pile. Uh, 350 watt four way. So uh, it sounds good on the other side. So I just want to make this quick video. And I'll be right back after I put this back together and show you more. Okay. <clears throat> I've. Uh, connected these together the dark the one there's dark with white with a red stripe that goes on the uh basically the two solid ones go together the lighter color this one's green uh goes on the one with a stripe and let me show you Cow, so then what I'm gonna do is just use a little butt connector and I'll put them back together and then I'll put it all back together and then you turn the radio on or leave it on while you're putting it all back together make sure you don't pinch anything and then basically I'll get back with you on how to put all the everything together after you uh splice it together re uh turn the radio on it and make sure that it didn't come loose in there you know when you did but as you see it's playing fine so we're right back okay as you see i just i couldn't use that bracket because it just i have to hollow it out and it just won't fit so I uh, just screwed it there. As you see, what I did was I lined the screws up the best I could, get the ones that actually fit this one here. What I did is take a marker or a pencil or something and mark where the holes are going to be. And what I did was I took the speaker back out, and these are self tapping screws. And I drill the holes first because you don't want to slip off and go through the through the through the speaker. That would suck. So uh, then I just put it up there and line the holes back up, and then screwed them back down. And uh, let's test it. Let's test it before I close everything up. And as you can see, it's playing. There you go. Now, it's just a matter of putting everything back. Uh, just be careful when you put everything back. Uh, like I said, uh, it's just a matter of putting, the, putting it back. Poke these harness, harnesses through. Uh, put your seat heater through there first, through the hole, and just let it dangle. Put that up, you know, up through here. Put the seat heat heater through here. Just let it dangle. And then make sure you connect that wire back to your speaker. Poke this through where the light goes. And you might have to, like I say, you just take it and make sure all the it clips in all these deals. And what I did with the other one is I just set it up here on the bottom first and just kind of like pushed it and then you slide it down. Basically, that's pretty much it. So I'll be right back when I got everything going. Okay, I got it set up. As you can see, uh, I'm putting my hand through here. If y'all wondering what I'm doing, take this, just slip it through there. So I just got it slipped through there. Uh, you got this that hooks into 
the back of here I'll try to do it one-handed it's got a tab on it I don't know if you can see good enough but you just go in there just clip it in there hear it clip and then uh, I've got my wire sticking through for the for the side thing all right let's back up push it in push it down it clicked in what I do is just tap it on the top make sure it clicks in grab a hold of it make sure it's in everything's good that wire that wires out take your seat heater goes in into the front clip it in the back okay you got your uh, Your locking mechanism the red part goes to the back if you notice it's got a hook part and in here see that hollow part right there Just make sure that that lines up what I do is just hold it make sure that it so you can feel it when it clicks in just push it in you want to hear that click sound if you don't then you got something wrong leave it on unlocked now a deal about this that I've noticed whoop, trying to hold everything these little clips come undone uh, don't worry about it just take them off from there and just push them back they just push back on right here they just push back on and uh i'll i have to put it down to click it in so i'll be right back okay another thing is this just clips right in and you take it and what i did just put it up underneath all that goes right there you see how you have to you have to push on it and just clip it down see how I did that sorry I didn't I didn't notice it was done but anyway you just push it in the front and then just clip it in the bottom and what I do is push down on it like that make sure it's clipped in that's okay then you take this piece right here Try and do this all one-handed. It goes in the front first. Might have to pull this back. Sorry about that. Right there. Just make sure it's in there right. Clip it in the bottom and the top. There you go. Just clipped in. No big deal. Uh, the other one. Uh, I don't know if I can do this one handed, but let me try. Basically, it just clips in like that. Just feed the wire back in. It goes in there like that. See how I pushed it back? Just push it in. And that's basically it, guys. It's a done deal. It's all back together looks good uh let me try the radio one more time just to make sure there we go y'all can hear it there we go sounds good guys so that's how you replace the speaker I uh, hope this helped y'all on a uh, 2002 Chevy Suburban. It works on a Yukon uh, Duramax diesel truck. Basically, they're all pretty much the same. Uh, so, I know there's many videos out there, but I was just trying to simplify and explain a little bit better. 
about stuff so uh if y'all like it please give me a thumbs up give me comments down below uh anything helps so uh subscribe if you're not scribed and see y'all later thanks